through our electrode for a minute, I'm going to draw us a little generic electrode. And let's say we're sitting in a solution of electrolyte, which is just another fancy name for salt. All right, so we have all this salt sitting around our electrode, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so we have a salty solution buffer, whatever you like to call it, and let's apply a voltage to our electrode. Let's say we apply a positive voltage to our electrode. What happens? Right, the chloride electrons, sorry, the chloride ions, right? Oops, I did them the wrong way, man. Not thinking. Uh, are, are attracted, right, uh, uh, to the um, electrode and the potassium electron ions, sorry, are um, repelled. Um, and so these ions will move in solution. And these ions, because they're charged, moving in solution, cause a current. So a lot of times, again, if you take physics, they, they act as if only an electron moving is a current. That's not true. Any charged species that's moving causes a current. So in this case, you know, the chlorides are moving towards the electrode, the potassiums are moving away, um, and you're going to get a current. Now, if I would apply a, a static voltage, like let's say I apply just one volt, you know, I just step from zero to one volt, right, this current, these ions will rearrange, and they'll rearrange to form something called the double layer. All right, so I apply my positive potential, right? So then after a while, I'll sit there, right, with my chlorides here. There'll be a small area, uh, you know, where there's a fair amount um, of uh, where they can sort of absorb. And then there'll be another kind of area around where there's more of them. They're not quite you near know, the electrode, but in this area, there's a lot more chlorides than, say, potassiums, right? Because the potassiums don't want to go. And then finally, when we get far enough away from the electrode surface, we're out what we call the bulk solution, where they, they don't see the electric field. So there's still potassiums kind of out here. So this is called the double layer, then. where we get a double layer of ions that line up on our electrode. And so charging the double layer is said to be like charging a capacitor. So if you've taken physics, you might know that when you apply a voltage to a potassium or a capacitor, you get a momentary um, current due to electrons moving around. Now if you're applying it to a, uh, a capacitor, right, so you apply a voltage and maybe electrons build up over here, and if there were electrons over here, they're repelled. But do electrons actually travel across that gap? No. And so it's the same thing with our electrode. Well, how the ions are going to move around in solution and that's going to cause a current. There's no electrons that are flowing between the electrode and the solution here. So there's no electron transfer. And I want to keep that. That's sort of the key. The problem is that we're going to get a current off of this. Um, and so this is called oftentimes a charging current. And this charging current ends up decaying with time. So the current that you get over time will look something like this. It's actually an exponential decay. So if you don't want any charging current, you kind of have to wait it out. Um, uh, it depends on the size of the electrode, just as capacitance depends on here. So the larger electrode, the more charging current you're going to get. And we call this charging current then non-Faraday current. It's very descriptive, right? Because Faraday current, that's our charging. Um, Faraday current, right, was the transfer of electrons. So electrons going back and forth, right, between the electrodes. That was what we want to see. That's Faraday current. But unintentionally, we're going to get this background charging current. So when you do your experiment um, in the lab, one of the things is we'll just run it in buffer and you'll see what it looks like and you won't get a perfectly, you know, you won't get a CV I versus V that looks like this. Uh, you know, you'll get a CV that kind of looks something like that. And that is due to the background charging curve. We can't get away from it. Um, it's just a uh, sort of um, process that always happens with um, um, electric chemistry.